All right, ladies and gentlemen, happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back for the big holiday weekend coming up for Memorial Day. How's everybody doing? All right, good to see you. Good morning, Mark. Good to see you, James, Bridget. Look at that. Grant, good to see you. John, JJ. All right, Steve. Good to see everybody up here bright and early. And you know what's so great? Good to see you, Lita. You know what's so great? Even it being a very uh, major holiday, you know, I, I got to tell you, uh, my old boss, uh, when I first uh, started trading, he always told me one thing. He says, you know, I hate holidays. And I'm like, why would you hate holidays? Isn't that great? He goes, no, because the day I can't trade and make money. You know, it's like, well, it's, it's, it's you know, I know it's good to have you take off once in a while, but... You know, it's just a, it's a day that it's, it screws up the whole week. You know, it's not just that one day. And, you know, and, and you're going to, guys, going to get a little taste of it because you could see we are, uh, the summer kicks off here in the United States starting today because of the big weekend. And what ends up happening, if it ends up being a nice week, you know, people end up, you know, will we'll spin over into like maybe even a Tuesday, you know, going into the following. So now you're going to start seeing the summer start kicking in and you're going to start to realize um, why it's so important to be very active, very, uh, you know, very important to trade when you're supposed to. And remember, in class, I do cover um, in some of the recordings that you might be able to review. But I not only do I tell you the best times to trade, you eat, and a lot of you already know the best days to trade, but they're also some of the best times of the year to trade. And we know that summers are, you know, unless there's some big catastrophe, last biggest greatest summer I remember trading was back in 2008 when we had the financial crisis but you know summers tend to be a little bit more on the slower side because people want to enjoy it and spend their money and remember if, if markets are slow you know doesn't mean we still can't make money but you know what you'll appreciate when the volatile times come up you know like September October November listen I tell people this all the time I could just trade those three months and I could be done for the year you know um, Earnings announcements come out, all that stuff. So, but you, you know, but everyone's here. You see what's going on, and it just gets to show you that uh, we're all not taking days off um, because <laughs> we're here to make money. You know. So anyway, let's go uh, talk about some of the big winners that we did have yesterday. Um, CHCI, everybody. I mean, hands down. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Two dollars to six fifty. You know, I had somebody. Uh, I was talking to someone the other day. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, yesterday, and they were asking me, and they, and, they, and, they, and they all say the same thing, and I'll repeat it. i never seen stocks go up like this, you know, and a lot of people like the idea that that we trade more less expensive stocks because that's why people have this misconception that they can't day trade um, or even do a swing trade because, or they have to do options or Forex or futures because they think that they, the only thing that's in, out there to trade is Facebook, you know, or Tesla, but uh, you know what? We did it again. I mean, listen, these inexpensive stocks are doing phenomenal. And there you have it. I mean, I was done um, yesterday, 8.30 to 9. I was done in pre-market, you know? And it's all about just making your day's pay. It's not about there being an all day. And I think a lot of people are now starting to start realizing it. And, and, and you can see we have a lot of new traders that join us. A lot of us signed up for today and yesterday. Today, I have a, a lot of traders. You're going to see a lot of people's names are going to be called out. Everybody wants a piece of the action. They're sick and tired of dealing with it, and we're doing great. So congratulations on those big winners, guys. So let's talk about CHCI was one of them. Did phenomenal, all right? What else did we have yesterday? The WSM. Beautiful short right there. Look at that. It's 56 down to 51. You know, a little bit more expensive. Uh, but William Sonoma beat earnings, you know, and sure enough, hit a major resistance, backed right off. People are like sitting there scratching their head on that one. They don't understand when you're a trader. Micron Technologies, another nice little mover. But once again, hit a major, major brick wall. Resistance levels. And uh, right back here, you can see it on this date right here. Oops, what happened here? There we go. Uh, you can see we hit a major resistance levels right on that date. And now the stock's backing off. So um, as of right, actually the stock did make my watch list today because it does look like we're, um, it looks like on a downtrend. D-E-R-M. Another nice little move right there. Great short. $10 down to $8, you know. 
I like this stock. I'm going to put it back on my watch list because you know what? Looks like we're going to be t we're testing a major support level too. So the D E R M is going back on my list. But it was a great short. You know, there were so many opportunities yesterday to make money. Um, let me see. Benito saying the uh, the B the the B L N K. I'm going to bring that up. Yeah, we'll, I'm, I'm going to throw that one also. My watch that just came from. I don't know where that came from. Just a much just popped up right now. The B L N K. But uh, there were so many opportunities yesterday uh, that every single one of you should have got at least a piece of that action. And you know what? If you didn't, I like I always say, just trade one share of the stock. If you're afraid to trade one share, you'll never be able to trade a hundred or a thousand shares. You got to go out there and you got to be in the game. You got to learn. Can't listen. You can't be on demo mode for uh, forever because the IRS is going to be auditing you and all those winnings pretty soon. So be very careful, guys. Just just saying. Um, and I'm also just kidding too. <laughs> All right. VTGN. Let's put this start working on our watch list. The stock is obviously the one that we've been watching in pre-market. Up 73%. Look at that beautiful. Look at that beauty. Uh, some of you remember we traded this stock at the uh, the, the, end, the ending of 2017 when we went from 80 cents to 260. You know, it looks like she's testing some major resistance levels. Um, you know, going back in uh, you know the, the the beginning of 2018. Nice little stock, early bird gets the money. All right, you should have been there early and would have got in. Went from a buck forty to a buck eighty. I know a lot of you are probably done already. That one did pretty well. Uh, VTGN's another one to put on the watch list. Uh, I'm sorry, wrong one. Uh, the RMTI down fifteen percent, sixty thousand shares. Looks like it's the only reason why I have this on my watch list because it looks like it's testing major support levels. So. We might get a little bit of a bounce right there. Micron, we already know about, or I told you about that. It looks like it's been a nice, decent short. Um, FL, another one right here. Everyone's talking about this in the Cyber Group room. 900,000 shares, almost already traded right now. It is expensive. Um, first of all, I didn't even know Foot Locker is still in business, more or less being trading at $52. It must have great earnings, but look at that. Great run for Foot Locker. You know, listen, sneaker business, I guess they... You know, the only ones that were left surviving, you know. Sneakers, big business, man. I didn't realize how much money is in the sneaker business. Holy cow. Crazy money. Anyway, FL is going to make the watch list. Z-O-E-S. Another stock taking a huge hit after hours. Went from 14 down to 11. Um, it's coming right around 10. It looks like it's going to be testing some resistance level, uh, support levels. Going back into 2017. Want to keep an eye on that one. And then, the, like we mentioned earlier, we're going to keep the DERM on our watch list and the BLNK. All those are going to stay on our watch list right now. And then last but not least, we might need a little bit of a little help from Grant Brockway. Grant, you know what? A lot of ETFs are moving this morning. It looks like, you know, you have the, the U.S. Uh, by the way, a lot of these are oil stocks, by the way. Keep an eye on them because a lot of them are taking a little bit of hits. Um, here's it, probably a decent short right here on SCO. A lot of these things made some huge rallies. But SCO moved pretty nice, and CPE also um, trending down. So I, I listen, today, just do you guys self a big favor. Don't, yeah, P, uh, PBRs, obviously, another one. Thanks, Lewis, for that one. PBR. Uh, listen, guys, try, and, and PBR took a nasty, nasty hit. So maybe that, they're making a little bit of a bottom fish right there. Look at that. It took you, it took you, uh, Almost a year to go from 12 to 17, and you lose it all in, in in less than a week. You know, listen, that's why you can't can't go broke taking profits. And by the way, for all, let me just kind of make a let me make a comment regarding about this PBR. This is what happens when you hold overnight positions. This is what happens when you swing trade. If you saw what happened over the course of the day, you would have never got caught up and and woke up in the morning and be in this predicament. You know, and that's why you got to learn how to day trade first before you do anything else. Now, regarding about today's markets, guys, listen, please don't get too aggressive. Don't get too cocky. It's not only just a Friday. It's the biggest weekend of the year. You know, summer kicks off, so there's not going to be a lot of a chaos. Now, we're going to be here to the close. Um, listen, it, I could tell you this. It could be super um, dead or there's going to be, which I'm almost guaranteeing, but there's always a possibility that a company might have to come out with news and we might get a great runner, 
a really great runner because what happens is a lot of assistants in, they sit on the side, algorithms, they probably shut them off and stuff like that. So um, listen, poke your nose. Don't, you know, if you got nothing to do, you might hit a grand slam home run um, on a Friday afternoon. Um, I always done well on days like this. It's, it's no different than the day after Thanksgiving. You know, people says, ah, it's a half a day. Let me go out there and spend some money. Yeah, you know what? I made a lot of money on those, those days. So don't, uh, don't, don't go out there and uh, abandon anything. All right, everyone? In the meantime, everyone, listen, good luck. Happy trading. If I don't see you in the afternoon, guys, enjoy your summer. And then let's give a big round welcome and a big fat thank you to all our veterans. Because remember, it's not about the weekend uh, of the summer kickoff. It's about supporting our troops and uh, for Memorial Day. So let's all give them a huge round of applause. Thank you for all the veterans. I know we have a lot of them in here for your support and, uh, and everything you've done for us. All right. All right, guys. Good luck. Happy. Um, have a great weekend. And uh, if I don't see you, I'll see you at 2.30.